<laughs> two serving. We have not. <laughs> Cameron. I'm Mary. Mary. Shannon. Nice Jenny. to meet you. Natalie. Good okay. episode. Um, the restroom is down the hall to your left. Yeah, there it is. So, um, how's it feel to win the lottery? <laughs> Incredible. It's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it's just, I, I, I love doing that every single time. Yeah. People, don't, people don't think about that. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's definitely unique yeah. in this situation. But anyway, uh, so there's a couple things that we're going to go over. Uh, we're going to do the intro. After the intro, we're going to go over cockpit familiarization and things that you're going to see inside the jet. Um, after that, uh, we're going to go over what kind of G's you guys are going to experience today. This guy absolutely don't touch, because if you touch that, the canopy goes up, you go up, and my pilot comes back in the convertible. So let's not do that. Uh, jump out of the chair and push off, and then the second part is the breathing. If you hold your breath, you're going to G-lock. Um, another name for that is... Pass out. I don't want to say pass out. Usually I say, usually I say night night. Lights okay. out. <laughs> um, and it's not a bad thing if you do. Like I said, you ladies, you guys don't do Seven is going to... Tell you how many G's we're gonna pull, what maneuver it is, and he's gonna say ready, hit it. By the time okay. you hear ready, you're already taking a deep breath in and you're flexing. If you're okay. waiting for him to say hit it, it's already too late. <laughs> okay. And most likely you're either gonna a gonna have tunnel vision or you're gonna lose color. So by ready, you should start. Yeah, by the time I hear okay. bruh, I'm <laughs> Okay. I'm in All right. Okay. okay. All right. Alright, he's about to do right. sneak to vertical. Okay. Ready, okay. hit it. <laughs> This is a dream come true. Lifetime dream come true. Yes. 
see that every day. Wow. I was going to say, that's amazing. Get ready to take off. Requested uh, basically a climb for our first maneuver, which is the low transition, high performance climb. So with that, we're gonna hopefully going to get about 100 feet above the runway, all right to about 300, 350 knots. And we're going to pull the nose straight up and climb up about two miles in a matter of seconds. That's awesome. Up here to the right. 
I'm just going through a couple of these clouds. That's amazing. A beautiful view, though, today, I mean. It's gorgeous. Does it ever get old? No, never. We're going to come to the left for two Gs, okay? Okay. Nice and easy. There's a D and a half. Four up in the hill, you right? But there's two Gs. Awesome. Still feeling all right? I feel fine. Awesome. All right, we're going to come to the right for three Gs now, okay? Yep. We're going to speed up just a little bit. Might need to squeeze the legs on this one, but you ready to go? Okay. All right, we're going to the right for three Gs. Ready, hit it. There's 2.5 and there's three. Three sustained right now. All right, how you feeling? I'm good. All right, you ready to go for four? Okay. I'm right, ready to go for four Gs to the right. Ready, hit it. Squeeze those legs. And we're rolling out. Awesome. Yeah, not too bad, right? Not too bad. All right, what we're going to do next is we're just going to touch six Gs and then back off to five, okay? Okay. All right, so we're coming to the left. First six Gs. Okay. Ready, hit it. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Yeah, all right. I do have a question for you. Sure. So your last name has the same last name that the airport is named after. Any relation? It is not. Oh, okay. It is not. We have you know, about 20 minutes, and I want to show you a couple things, but... Okay. You know, we got our bodies warmed up as far as, you know, the Gs. We hit 6.4 on that last ball, and, uh... You're obviously, I think, I think you're going to do well. So, we're going to put some of the easy, kind of loose and roll, okay? Four, one, four, one, one. Let's have a maneuver back to the left here. I just want to show you something uh, that the entire Delta will do. So, it's a uh, similar profile to the Delta roll. Okay. And we're just going to pull the nose up to about 22 degrees nose high. I want to do a nice, easy roll to the left, okay? Okay. And with that, we're only going to hit about two or three Gs. You ready to go? Got it. Ready. All right. Up we go. And as we do this, there's 10 degrees nose high. There's 20. And we're going to start a nice, easy roll. And with this roll, if you were to look at those wing tips, those gold wing tips to the left and right. Yep. Just imagine there's five other aircraft flying <laughs> formation. Just two feet apart. <laughs> we're upside down, and then we're just rolling back upright. Nice and easy. A little pull at the bottom here. That's a nice, easy roll. How you feeling? It's great. It is so great. Awesome, all right? How do you feel about doing a loop? Just going straight up over the top. Okay. Maybe about three to four G's. You ready to go? Ready. All right. And up we go. There's 45 degrees nose high. There's 70. <laughs> There's pure vertical. So we're pulling up over the top. If you look straight up right now, you can see our smoke trail where we oh just came God, from. That's awesome. There we go. We got 70 degrees nose low. There's pure nose low. A little pull here at the bottom. Oh, and I can see it off the mirror, too. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Feeling good? I am. All right. What we're going to do next is uh, we're going to do a Immelman, okay? Okay. Actually, we're, we'll call it a half cubit eight, because what we're going to do is we're going to do the first half of the loop, and then once we get upside down, pointed the other direction, we're going to roll upright. This is actually what the diamond does on takeoff. So all four aircraft immediately after taking off the runway, they're going to do this maneuver. You ready to go? I am. All right. Again, this will be about three to four Gs at most. So nice and easy. So pick up a little more air. Speed here. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice roll. Yeah, that's a nice roll. Yeah, that's a nice roll. 
There's 35 degrees, there's high, there's 40, there's 45, we're pushing for zero G's, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. There's zero G right there. Totally weightless. And here comes some G. And we're back at one G. As we accelerate here in the descent, we're going to do a little bit of upside down flying next, okay? Perfect. So all we're going to do is we're going to flip upside down, put the sky below us, the ground above us, and enjoy the view. Awesome. Accelerating back to 400 knots. All right, we're going upside down. Are you ready? Ready. All right, ready, hit it. And just like that, we're flying upside down. Yay! Interesting perspective. Not everybody gets to do this every day. No. And the solos will do this at, uh, yeah, they were between 200 and 300 feet above the ground. Which is amazing. Pointed right at each other. Wow. All right, we're rolling up, right? <laughs> All right, you still feeling good, yeah? I am. Awesome. All right. So now that is the completion of the walk portion of the crawl walk run. Okay. We're going to increase the D a little bit with this next maneuver. All right, so it's going to be the mid meridius turn. We're at 350 knots right now. We got about maybe 30 seconds to a minute before we want to do this. So if we want to catch our breath, kind of mentally prep. Okay. But we're going to touch about seven Gs on the initiation of this maneuver, okay? Oh, wow, okay. And we're going to do a level 360 across the horizon. And that first 90 degrees of turn is going to be about seven Gs, and then we're going to ease it off to five. So this is going to be a full G strain, okay? Okay. And even though we go from seven to five Gs for the last 270 degrees, I want you to keep that full G strain going, okay? Got it. You want to give it a shot, though? I am. All right. <laughs> All right, we're set up for the mid-radius turn. It'll be to the left. About 10 more seconds. Squeeze those legs. Work on that breathing, okay? Got it. All right, we're coming to the left. Ready, hit it. I heard you working that whole time. Well, I hope I did it right. Yeah. 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 Again, what we just did. That was the minimum radius turn. So we're basically turning the F-18 across the horizon. Yeah. 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 So from about 5,000 feet where we are right now, which is the bottom of our airspace, we're going to pull the nose straight up and get to about 18,000 feet again. This pull is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be just below the speed of sound. That pull to the vertical is a sustained 7 to 7.5 G pull. That's only for about, you know, 5 to 10 seconds. 5 to 10, okay. At most. <laughs> but honestly, I think you're crushing it right now, and I think you're going to do great. Okay. So, well, uh, it's basically just a pull to the vertical, just under the speed of sound. How's that sound? That's awesome. All right. We're going to accelerate here. Never find a five-pound mic. 
Echo on, echo switch to ground, point ladder, thanks for helping me. Uh -huh. Alright, if you would go ahead and safe up that seat for me, that handle on the outside of your right thigh. Let me know that you've done so. Okay. okay, it's safe. Awesome. Like I said earlier, awesome, awesome <laughs> job today. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. We had a perfect day. Yeah, yes. Um, and it was just really nice being able to fly with you today. It's been I again. It so thank you much. from the team. Thank you. And I know that a lot goes into getting the flight ready and the oh, yeah. plane ready and you ready, so I appreciate it from every angle. Ground Blue Angel 7, Office uh, Echo 1, heading back to the soy tanker. Blue Angel 7, Roger, I think that's on November. Over by Fat Albert, yes. Hey, firm. Blue Angel 7, Dayton Ground, Soin Hangar, taxi view straight ahead, hold short runway 1-8 on Echo. Straight ahead, hold short 1-8 on Echo, Blue Angel 7. Yeah, the, uh... Blue Angel 7, I'm going to take you around the back side and then point you westbound in the same direction as uh, Fat Albert's pointing, is that what you want? And Blue Angel 7, that will work, I believe, uh, once I get on that ramp, I'm going to be pointed back towards uh, the runway 7 left. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. Yeah. Because oh, no, I haven't cleaned my ears out in four months.
so much. All right, let's get a shot, guys. So this uh, once in a lifetime doesn't even it, it should it should make all the difference in the world of how I feel right now. But it's like that plus I, I can't even give it a number. It's just amazing. Um, this was a dream come true. As a little girl, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. So the fact that this even I could even sit in the plane, let alone fly in it and maneuver in it, was just out of this world. Oh my gosh! Well, that's not even the right scale. Right. <laughs> We flew between clouds. We, I could, I saw things in a different perspective, different lens than I've ever seen before. That's just lifetime. That's changing. That's life experience changing. Yeah. So there's one out of ten doesn't even do it justice.